Okay, let's talk about what a decent software is best for you to use, especially in 2025. I think that editing is more about the individual and your ability to actually tell a good story with your edits. But the saga and the war between DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro and Final Cut has been for like from years now. Premiere Pro is still a fantastic software to use. And these days, the requirements for editing sometimes is just social media content and you can do all that in CapCut. So you can decide for yourself. If you are a new person, I would advise that you begin your editing with DaVinci Resolve. And it's not because it's a better software per se, it's because it is freer. It's a one-time payment if you're going pro. And the free version does almost everything that you need, right? And the, the workspaces are so concise and contain everything that you need. So you have the color workspace, you have the cutting and editing workspace, you have the animation workspace, distribution. Some kind of animation you cannot do on Premiere. You have to move it to After Effects and then back to Premiere. And then when you want to export, you go to Media Encoder. And all that stuff can be cumbersome sometimes. But Premiere is such a fantastic software to edit in because the interface is just so easy to use, right? And most people work in Premiere. So if you are doing collaborative work, many people have not switched to DaVinci. So if you want to go pro, sometimes it's better to know the industry standard and most popular software. So let me know in the comment section which software stands out for you. And I'll see you in the next one.